Hey there everybody, Rai here, and welcome back to some more Lauren the Amazon Princess. We're gonna do more personal quests today. They actually are kind of hard when you get right down to it, but let's do Dora's quest next because we kind of just did something with Framus. I kind of want to see what Dora's side of the story is. Maybe we'll learn something about her. So let's put Dora in here. Can we sneak Ramus in here? Can we sneak Ramus in here? Aw, oh, come on. Can we sneak Ramus in there? Aw. Oh. oh my god, we can. <laughs> no, mess with you. Get out of air. Alright, Saren and Dora. Da, 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 Dora. Oh, okay. Saren signaled to Dora that he was prepared for a trip to Grimoire to get her possessions back. They excused themselves from camp on a lie, as per Dora's instructions. When they were in Grimoire, they went from guard station to station until Dora realized that the thing that she wanted back wouldn't be in any of them. They're carrying it around, I just know it. Carrying what around? Shh. They entered a tavern searching for off-duty guards. Oh, there's some. A group of relaxing guards were huddled, huddled around a table covered in trinkets and baubles. Nothing of much value. They're in plain sight. Ooh, I hate Grimoire's grimy guards. Is that stolen stuff they have? Yep, they'd call it contraband, but they're corrupt to their core. They just keep whatever they want. Hmm, is that what you want on, the t on that table? I gotta get closer. Stay here, I'll go see. Saren was shocked to hear that Dora was going to go right up to them, but she disappeared into the shadows. He looked around the table, trying to find Dora again, or the room, but he only caught a quick glance of her darting under tables. Dora eventually slid under the guard's table and stopped delicately around their feet. She poked her head... She slowly poked her head around the edge of the table and looked over the contents thrown around it. The dwarf's woman's hand... Why am I mispronouncing stuff so much? The dwarf woman's hand began to rise onto the table as if she found what she wanted. Her fingers were on the table. They were inching closer to something... A scroll of paper. Huh. And then all the talk at the table abruptly stopped. All the guards were staring right at Dora. Damn it, Dora. She smiled and waved at them. Then she snatched the scroll from the table and bolted towards Saren. Run! What? Thief! Catch her! Saren didn't argue and ran. They shot out of the tavern and into the streets, quickly finding an alleyway to disappear into. They bob bobbed through the buildings to flee the city, but the guards were on full alert by then. Did we just steal that? Dora! Saren panted heavily while trying to catch up with the spry dwarf. No, it's mine! I was just stealing it back! And who did he steal it from before then? Dora didn't answer. They pressed themselves against the wall as guards ran past the adjacent street. I cannot believe we're doing this. We're going to get out, don't fuss. You there! Halt! Dora squeaked as a band of guards blocked their path. They were now trapped against the wall. They matched the description. Get them! Dora shot a look at Saren. I really can't believe we're about to do this. Dora whipped out her bow and shot a guard in the blink of an eye. Saren readied his own weapon. Yep, we're doing this. Uh, how do I want to do this? I don't want to delay Dora's actions in this, so we're just going to go with standard range attacks. Stand aside. Thankfully, Saren's going to take the majority of the beating. Enemies are probably going to get tougher after this, though. You know, I know, I realized something. Dora's a dwarf, yet I never use a dwarven accent on her. Probably because I can't do a dwarven female voice. Yet. Okay, for real this time. Run and don't get caught. Dora sprinter, sprinted away before Saren could recover from the fight. This time they were able to escape Grimoire undetected. Back at camp, they caught their breath for the first time. What was that all about? 
what why did you what did you just risk all that over a piece of paper dora held out the scroll and grinned a very special piece of paper a treasure map oh i kind of guessed it from like in the back of my head i kind of knew so half that treasure is mine half you said you would split it with me well yeah not half and half though <sighs> Fine, half if you help me get it. Deal. Lead the way. I love how smug Saren looks like. He's like, yeah, you dragged me into this mess. Now you gotta pay for it. Quite literally. Dora trekked across the plains with her nose glued to the map. They wandered into the orcish wastes. Are you sure it's this way? Whose treasure is this anyway? Uh, some bandit leader's rubbish. Shouldn't be heaps of it, though. Dora stopped and looked around. Do you suppose it's buried? Are you, are you saying the treasure is right here? Yeah, the map ends here. Oh, clever. An animal den, huh? Dora trotted over to a large hole in the ground and stuck her head inside of it without looking first. A giant scorpion crawled out and she shrieked. Buries their stuff in an occupied den. Then let's clean it out. Okay. We'll deal with these things first. Got him. Oh shit. Heal. Heal again, please. Okay, we're good. I think. Not exactly. All right, good, good, good. Ooh, and we got an emerald. We can sell that later. Yuck, yuck, stupid critters. Okay, treasure time. Dora poked around in the scorpion den, but her face became increasingly disappointed. Where's the goodies? She yanked out her fist quickly, and a dirty piece of parchment was crumpled in her fingers. Where's the treasure? Dora, you promised treasure. The dwarf read the note with a scowl. Rats. Someone else got here first, I take it? Dear Gus, took it for me own. Bull. Bandits robbed of themselves. What happened to honor among thieves? So what do we do now? One thing we can do. Find this filth and get it back. Saren sighed and shuffled his feet as he followed Dora determinedly scout. For... Oh... That's a weirdly constructed sentence, sorry. As he followed Dora determinedly scout for the bandits who took the treasure. Dora seemed to know a lot about thieves' nests. She knew the right code words to ask and exactly where to look for any information on Bull. I think it's about time you admit you're a thief yourself, Dora. Shush you. Do you want shiny things or not? Yeah, it's clear as day. They finally got a lead on the bull character and were directed to the basement under the local pub. In the smoky atmosphere, groups of thugs and bandits were laughing, drinking, and playing crude games. They noticed Dora and Saren's entrance, but they didn't stop their debauchery on their behalf. Hey, look at this couple. You rent room upstairs, you know. All the bandits laughed, but Dora placed her hands on her hips. You tell that rat bull to show his ugly head or I'll start bashing him until he does. Their laughter died and a man stood up. I'd recognize this piece of work anywhere. You arse. This is the dwarf that ripped off old Gus and tried to run off with all our plunder. This made the bandits angry. They stood up and reached for their weapons. Did you really do that? Hey, don't blame a girl for getting even. Phil ripped me off first. I better save, by the way. 
Said I'd get my fair share of the cut and then they forgot to tell me that they'd pack up and leave me behind the next morning. Thieves are truly honorless. Everyone, including Dora, looked back at Saren with disapproval. Saren quieted, quieted her himself. Well then, I guess we gotta settle this the old-fashioned way. Boys? Come and get it. I ain't scared. Wait, can't we settle this another- Nope. Oh shit, his health is still low as hell. Um, Dora, I'm gonna need you to use this on me. Heal. Oh fuck. Switch. God damn it, how do I keep ending up here? Dude, I swear to god. Lauren. I'm sorry. I love how his last breath was like, Lauren. Uh, restore. I don't think we're gonna win this. Oh boy. I wish I healed beforehand. Oh boy. Paralyze. Let's go with paralyze. And switch positions. Life. God damn it. They should have surrendered when they had the chance. All right, restore. Um. Myself. Move behind. Lauren, I'm sorry. God damn it. Thank you. Switch positions. And then give you this potion. Oh good. They used up all their mana. I think we have a chance now. Restore my health. Okay, I think we got this. Ah, oh, thank god. That was actually really hard. And we got some standard loot, that's about it. Dora laughed as she shot arrows at the fleeing bandits. She and Saren had managed to clean out an entire basement by themselves. Pack of cowards. Let's toss this place. Dora was giddy as she picked the basement clean and relieved all the bandits of their items. Good haul, good haul. Dora handed a box of tobacco to Saren, who was only watching Dora work. <laughs> Take it. Half of the stuff is yours, remember? Doesn't look much like treasure. Not right now, but when we turn it, we'll get plenty of coin. Dora smiled at Saren with some admiration. You did real good today. You'd be legend for sure if you ever went rogue. Thank you? <laughs> As Dora said, when they sold the items they pilfered around town, the gold started to pile up. Even though Dora was a little reluctant, she evenly split all of earnings in half, rounding up in her favor, of course. You've earned 2,000 gold coins. No, I, I can't complain. Money, 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 money! Money! Okay. Naturally go around, make sure... 
nobody has anything to say. Sorry, I had to pause there because I heard dripping and then I realized, oh yeah, it is raining at this hour. I don't think we're going to get anything from the group. Alright, we have five more quests to do. My, my word. Alright, let's save and we'll f do... Which one do we want to do? Mirf, I have no confidence in, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'll get my ass kicked. I'll give it a try, though. Don't get me wrong. Let me actually go to the Citadel and go to the shop. Let's sell some of the items that we got. Sell the swords. And sell these gems. Got a nice bit of pocket coin. Alright. I kind of want to do Karen's quest next. Yeah, let's do Karen's. Alright, we have Karen and Saren in our group. Saren and Karen left the camp under false motives so that Lauren would not suspect her mother's gift too soon. They traveled far across the lands until reaching the unforgiving swamps. I had never wanted to return to these parts. Saren watched Karen closely, only daring to go as far as she would. What are we looking for? The runes where you found me. They are the remains of the people that once ruled here. The K the Kuzulu. Are the lizard men their descendants? Karen chuckled under her breath. No, I believe they're just fond of the swamp. It is like all civilizations. When one dies, another will quickly take its place. You consider the lizard men a civilization? Karen slowed but did not stop. I have been in their company. They are not simple creatures. Or not? Before Karen could answer, the mighty ruins of Chisulu appeared before them. Most structures were crumbling into the swamp, but they remained a marvel. In the distances, they could see smoke from a campfire. Do you think... Yes, lizard men. We will have to avoid them as we make our way into the ruins. Any relic from wars of old would be preserved underground. Saren nodded and followed Karen as she crouched and silently sped across the mud. At the campfire, many lizard men were lounging around it as if sleeping, but they were chattering and hissing at each other. What are they doing? That is how they speak. Then they are not sleeping. They are like moths in front of flames. Karen had learned much about their culture from her imprisonment. Over there, that doorway. Karen pointed at their goal. Now they had to reach it without being caught. A lizard man was patrolling the perimeter of the campfire circle. He had just finished his round on the side closest to them. Karen looked over at Saren. Oh god, we really have to be stealth for us. However, we're not going to be stealth for us right now. We are actually going to do this in the next part, so... You guys are going to have to wait, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, I encourage you to leave a like and comment as it helps and benefits the growth of the channel and tells me you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I am Rai. Happy gaming, everybody. See you soon.